upscale Palos Verdes Peninsula, and it's become a battleground between locals and visitors. Our Ted Chen is in nearby Torrance with the latest on this battle at the coast. Hello, Ted. Rick, a rally began here at Torrance Beach. It moved to Lanata Beach. Police were standing by just in case things got out of hand. Fortunately, they did not, but apparently nothing was resolved either in this so-called battle over turf. Lunata Beach is a public beach, but according to some surfers, some locals here treat it as their beach and theirs alone. The locals have been accused of physically and verbally abusing outsiders. Ever notice we've done a good thing here? Peter McCullum is one of three locals arrested this year for alleged threats and assaults. Outsiders say a local surfing group of bad boys are the worst offenders who claim Lunata Beach is their turf. Today, some of those outsiders rallied at Lunata in protest, hoping to confront some of the local queues of denying them access. You guys just trash us, man. Throw rocks at us as we're down the cliffs. Slice tires, break windows. Steal our stuff out of our cars, man. I can understand if you guys want to surf like Lunata Beach. I like to wake up in the morning and just go out and surf, not deal with jerk you. The guy who cut my tires didn't have the guts to come up to my face and say, you know what? I'm saying if you want to do something possible, go down and pick up some trash out of the bay. Police laid up this rally saying there was a bomb scare. That did not pan out. The locals say they recognize that Lunata is a public beach. They say they do not turn anyone away. Apparently, some of the most hostile people have been local teenagers. Reporting live from Torrance, Ted Chen, Channel 4 News. And back to you. Thanks, Ted, for that live report. Intruders. And it was quite a war. Reeling in. And a day in L.A. Mayor Reardon taking over, claiming the is their turf. In Palos Verdes, a battle over the beach drew about 100 surfers. Steve Noble reports. Trash us, man. Throw rocks at us as we're walking down the cliff. The waves were flat, but the surfers were out at Lunata Bay. Did they want to surf? A symbolic surf summit to reclaim a beach they say a local surf gang controls through violence and intimidation. I'm halfway down, I've had rocks thrown at me as I'm walking down the cliff, and it's a scary cliff, you know, it's like, I'm, I've almost had times where I've almost thrown my board over to save my own. The protest was organized by a surfer who says he and his friends have been assaulted here. Obviously, there's a lot of people that are upset about it or they wouldn't be here, and, and the surf community knows about it, and maybe they've had enough. The regulars say it's simple. They call it localism, and they say it's been around beaches as long as the waves. The Sheriff's Department says there have only been three reports of violence in the last year. The city manager has asked us not to get involved in uh, any of the rhetoric associated with this today. We're doing what we can to enforce the law, and that's all. Thank you. Anywhere in the world, there's always places that you go where people want to be by themselves. I mean, you go over to East L.A., or you go down to San Diego, or you go up to Malibu. There's certain spots where locals just want to hang out by themselves. If they're man enough to carry their board down the 300-foot cliff and get out in the big swells and surf, then uh, let them surf. And if they're not? If they're not, then they should go to a flat beach. Bomb threat the came Police cleared the protest. They claimed a bomb threat forced the evacuation. These surf outsiders say nothing will keep them away. When the waves return, they say they'll be back too. In Lunata Bay, Steve Noble, KCAL 9 News. A lawsuit is still pending against the city of Palos Verdes, brought on by several non-locals who claim the city does nothing to help stop the violence. Dave? Well, Sylvia, the UC Irvine fertility scandal continues. It survived more than a... Residents have been terrorizing outsiders for years, keeping them from some of the Southland's best waves. As Brooke Skulski reports, a protest today brought both sides to the beach. At Lanuda Bay Point, it's locals versus outsiders. What everyone is fighting over is the right to surf the point in peace. Looks like now with all these people here, I guess the locals will know that, um, you know, they want to surf their break. For years, a combination of the treacherous cliffs and the territorial regulars have kept outsiders away. My dad's told me ever since I was a little kid, never surf here, because when he was a kid, he got rocks thrown at him, and now he says it's just, it's just those kids, they're the yuppies, just get bitter and throw rocks. Would you like to be able to surf here? Oh, I'd love it. I mean, it doesn't break very often, like they said, but when it breaks, it's awesome. The fight over awesome waves isn't unique to this beach, but some say here locals have taken it too far. People get beat up, people get uh, harassed, they get their tires slashed, people break into your car. For the locals, it's just a matter of limited resources. Too few waves and too many surfers. 
The other people are just screwing it up. That's why they should keep it the way it is. I don't do anything like violent to keep people out, but I just the way it is right now, I think I think it's good. Like every surf spot along the Southern California coast, Lanuda Bay Point has a pecking order with locals at the top. So whether today's peaceful protest changes that order and calms these troubled waters remains to be seen. In Palos Verdes, Brooke Skulski, Fox 11 News. Different type of story here, a gesture of